factor, I could say, it is a fundamental element for us to uh, build a sustainable environment for our future generation. So sustainability comes from innovation. Innovation is the way to uh, build a sustainable ecosystem by solving the problems as well as uh, through innovative products. And the second fundamental for sustainability for us is the people, helping people to reach their potential. So that can only create a better sustainability and also the environment. Helping to protect environment is one of the uh, most important and foremost uh, thing what we can think of for the beyond and today's and beyond the uh, today uh, situation. So it is also one of the important uh, factor from our side is to have the uh, this sustainability in our own fundamental as well as uh, ethical and compliance in terms of uh, governing the <coughs> system. So what does it mean to uh, sustainability to, uh, to you? It's basically partner with us, particularly partner with Paul, uh, make your beer production economically sustainable. So by saying that sustainability in beer manufacturing is basically a which is economically advantageous as well as ethically unobjectionable and also uh, economically uh, successful. So Paul can help you out in different stages of beer production, particularly when we talk about uh, economic sustainability, be it de replacement, be it uh, water consumption, be it energy consumption, and also minimizing the consumption of th thermal and electric uh, uh, usage and also improve the raw material performance by improving the uh, efficiency of the fermentation and also overall global uh, CO2 footprint uh, by minimizing the CO2 footprint in the overall process of brewing. We, Paul, or can supply into commercially as well as craft and micro breweries. So when it comes to uh, economic sustainability for a commercial brewers, we are into uh, up <coughs> incoming waters, clarifications before and after the uh, BBT and, and also the particle filtration and, and finally in the quality and microbial uh, detection. And in craft brewery, when it comes to uh, Craft babies, we are in. We can help into uh, incoming waters and also the final filtration and polishing filtration. And if you have this uh, instant testing and quality requirements, particularly in the microbial uh, contamination reduction and detection. Paul, uh, we have a different filtration spectrum when it comes to the craft uh, brewing, craft brewing, particularly starting from death filtration to the uh, death pleated and pleated followed by the ultimate technology. Different pleating technologies gives you uh, different applications altogether, uh, starting from anywhere between 0.45 micron to the 100 micron range, wherein you can have your craft beers with a different uh, kind of textures uh, and also kind of a different, different quality. So as I mentioned, one of the uh, different uh, uh, product range is in the consumable one. We call it as consumables. Consumables are basically to help you out the uh, low volumes as well as uh, also uh, low OPEX as well as uh, CAPEX investment. Uh, starting from the cartridge filter range to the membrane filters at a QC level also supporting uh, all the stainless steel uh, equipments, housings and uh, all the utility filters, particularly steam, air, gas applications. The other product range which also helps you to clarify and, and also blend with the final uh, products in, with the different flavors as well as uh, different uh, uh, product category all together are the uh, filter sheets which are basically uh, contain cellulose plus diatomaceous earth which will give you kind of an uh, absorptive clarification uh, applications 
and activated carbon sheets are basically help you out with uh, different uh, beer base uh, products which you can later on craft with the different flavors uh, that is basically a trend in the market to come up with new products every day. <coughs> So beer clarification, so as we talk about uh, sustainability, we should also think of uh, future wherein uh, we also think of uh, de replacement. When you talk about de, de probably could be the uh, futuristically it is uh, very critical to have consistent quality extracted globally and also supplied and it has its own health related issues to avoid those uh, in, in, in future, I think uh, this is already taken step globally and in India also we see a lot of uh, customers are moving towards de-replacement and uh, we have a solution called a Profi membrane system. This is a hollow fiber PS based membrane wherein this is uh, uh, just click fit like you have the inlet and you get the uh, uh, filtered beer which is uh, less than 0.5 EBC. Uh, clarity. So this can be directly bottled or uh, kegged uh, after this uh, filtration stage. And the best uh, best thing about the profit system is this can be a uh, uh, sustainable in the long run as well as this can be used as a uh, retrofit to the all the de filtered uh, systems. And this can be operated in a batch mode as well as continuous mode. You can just do the filtration, have a standby membrane clean the one the membrane clean the membrane and then next use the next membrane so it it, it always uh, ready for the filtration at any time if you are thinking to uh, build your capacity on a, a rapid mode as well as if you want to operate your system at a continuous mode i think this is could be the one of the best solution uh, talking about uh, beer from anywhere like out of the fermentation uh, turbidity to the uh, final bottling clarity as I mentioned, this could be plug-in-play concept, uh, easy to install and uh, it can be uh, uh, transferred to any location without any hurdles. And uh, it is very negligible when it comes to the beer loss as well as uh, you can quickly change the brands without changing anything in the system. Just by doing applying the cleaning techniques, you can just change the, your different uh, brands as well and also uh, uh, easy to have the distribution network with kind of uh, systems in place. The second product what, at what I'm talking is about the Supra product. If you don't have the volumes, what we are talking about 100 HL or 2000, 200 HL or something, if you have a, 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 just an HL or up to 10 HL or 3 THL, uh, you are looking for a solution which is not a DE based as well as membrane based or big capex investment what we are talking about. Then we have the solution called as a Supra. Uh, Supra is basically a cellulose based uh, uh, system, cellulose based membrane which is basically comes in three different formats uh, on the uh, sheets. Supra is to module as well as uh, Supra pack. There are other to make these sheets at least we may need around 10,000 raw materials. Think about the science behind this making membranes. Uh, it is maybe a 100 year old technology uh, producing the membranes. We have come up with uh, uh, different ion reduced uh, grades which is just a cellulose based wherein uh, you will have the consistent taste as well as uh, the kind of uh, flavors you want to build in, in, the, in the outlet can be achieved with this kind of a membranes. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, whatever kind of, along with the clarity, whatever kind of uh, haziness level you want to see in your beer, final beer, uh, at the glass level, we can do that uh, by using a different grades and different quality of the membranes what we produce. Basically, that may start from 0.2 to the 100 micron which can even remove your yeast uh, from the fermentation as well as it can give you uh, without removing the yeast, retaining your one of the best yeast flavor and uh, uh, yeast, yeast within, uh, within your final uh, glass of beer. As I mentioned, uh, this is one of the uh, uh, picture which shows uh, uh, Paul filtered uh, 
uh, beer which is giving you final bottle clarity without without applying all the technologies uh, these big beer uh, uh, commercial brewings apply so you can use a smaller technologies uh, to come up with a similar quality taste uh, uh, final in the final uh, beer what you produce in the outlet uh, that's about the sustainability and uh, let's talk about uh, uh, <coughs> stabilization of the beer so stabilization is basically uh, issue with respect to haze so haze comes from either uh, uh, raw material or from the brewing process itself uh, we have a solution called as a continuous beer stabilization it nothing but uses the pvpp uh, which is a regeneratable and it is uh, fixed in in a stainless steel cassette and staked in a different housings uh, probably if i can show this yeah yeah uh, this can be staked in a different housings so again this concept is uh, you can use both uh, batch mode as well as continuous mode uh, the reusability of this uh, pvpp is very much almost uh, close to the 100% there will be very minimal loss of PPP with adapting uh, such a kind of uh, technology. Uh, this is, uh, this can be uh, handled and maintained by Paul executives with, with the support from Paul executives. I think this can save your water and uh, cleaning, uh, cleaning consumptions at least 30 to 40 percent by adapting the uh, continuous beer stabilization uh, in your process. Beer lot. We talk about. Uh, we talk. We talk a lot about uh, technology developments, improvements, yield, uh, higher volumes, lower cap, uh, lower cap, cap capacity in investment. There is lot. Lot about that. If you took overall fermentation process at a commercial level, there will be at least 300 parameters one need to test uh, to uh, to make the his process uh, streamline and stable and con consistently that need to be monitored. So I think with that concept, Paul has come up with beer lot, beer lot concept. Basically what we do is, it's kind of an IT, uh, the data generation wherein uh, uh, we provide a kind of a support to our customers when they use our profit systems, help them to get this stabilization, all the process informations uh, delivered in your mobile with your uh, Bluetooth connections, with Wi-Fi connections, so you can anywhere be there you be anywhere and then all the data follows you and uh, it will keep uh, it, it will keep you to help uh, have this data post batch and also uh, help you to stabilize your processes and uh, uh, meet the consistent quality in your process <coughs> and lastly about quality control we talk a lot about beer manufacturing processing and bottling uh, anything needs adversely affected that needs to be addressed spot understood and analyzed during the process of fermentation or before we make a keg and send it to the customer uh, at the outlet so uh, our system is basically a microbial uh, detection system it is a rapid pcr based system wherein you can uh, check uh, the samples either maybe from the fermentation tank or it may be just an uh, yeast standard culture itself if you want to test it uh, within uh, one hour you will get the result all the profiles including the brewing yeast, wild yeast, uh, the standard contaminations which are which are coming in the uh, fermentation process at a ph lower ph uh, we all we have all the gene de uh, genomic level database which is uh, already uh, 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 present in the Zindi system, it will tell you and give you an exact zero type of that particular yeast present in the uh, process, whether it may be good for you, sometimes it may be a wild yeast which can spoil your beer. Uh, probably this will help you out to uh, monitor online and also uh, time to re release your batch, time to market, you can reduce by adapting this uh, uh, rapid detection system wherein without waiting for three to sub five days uh, result in the QC by traditional plate method this will help you out to uh, get the result in an hour
Uh, that's all I think uh, we have a stall uh, next to the uh, presentation hall and I have my colleagues uh, from different departments from marketing, sales, uh, we are there, uh, we are here for next three days to help you out, understand your filtration requirement and uh, definitely uh, we'll try to, try to uh, solve and address and uh, we are open to discuss for any open questions. Uh, thank you and thank you uh, Brevard World team for this uh, wonderful opportunity. Thank you so much, Mr. Prashant. May I request you to stay on stage to collect your souvenir? Uh, I call upon Divya from Brewer World. <laughs>